<clears throat> the false offerings of Nadab and Abihu. Now, Nadab and Abihu, Aaron's sons, each took his censure and put fire in it, put incense on it, and offered strange fire before the Lord, which he had not commanded them. So, so fire went out from the Lord and devoured them, and they died before the Lord. Then Moses said to Aaron, this is what the Lord spoke, saying, by those who come near me, I shall be sanctified, and before all congregation, congregation I shall be glorified. So Aaron was greatly distressed. Moses then called Mishael and Elzaphan, the sons of Uziel, Aaron's uncle, and said to them, Come near, carry your brethren from the presence of the sanctuary outside the camp. So they came near and carried them by their tunics outside the camp, as Moses said. Then Moses said to Aaron and to Eleazar and Ithamar, his sons, do not uncover your heads, nor take off your garments, lest you die. And wrath come upon all the congregation. But let your brethren, the whole house of Israel, bewail the burning <clears throat> the Lord kindled. You shall not, not go out from the door of the tabernacle of testimony, lest you die. For the anointing oil of the Lord is upon you. So they did according to Moses' word. Conduct for priests. <clears throat> then the Lord spoke to Aaron, saying, Do not drink wine and strong drink, you, you nor your sons with you, when you go into the tabernacle of testimony, or when you approach the altar, lest you die. It shall be an ordinance forever throughout your generations, that you may distinguish between holy and unholy, and between unclean and clean, and that you may teach the children of Israel all the ordinances which the Lord spoke to them by the hand of Moses. Then Moses spoke to Aaron, saying, or Then Moses spoke to Aaron and to Eleazar and Ithamar, his sons who were left. Take the grain offering that remains from the burnt offerings of the Lord and eat it without leaven beside the altar, for it is most holy. You shall eat it in a holy place, because from the burnt offerings of, from the, you shall eat it from a holy place because from the burnt offerings of the Lord, it belongs to you and your sons by ordinance. For thus I was commanded, the breast of the wave offering and the thigh of the choice por portion, you shall eat in a clean place, you, your sons and your household with you because it was given to you <clears throat> and your sons by ordinance from the peace offerings of the children of Israel, the thigh of the choice portion and the breast of the wave offering shall and the thigh of the choice portion and the breast of the wave offering they shall bring with the burnt offerings of fat to offer as a wave offering before the Lord and it shall be yours and your sons and daughters with you by an ordinance forever as the Lord commanded Moses then Moses made careful inquiry about the young goat of the sin offering. And there it was, burned up. So he was angry with Eleazar and Ithamar, Aaron's remaining son, saying, Why have you not eaten the sin offering in a holy place, since it is most holy? And he gave this to you, to bear the guilt of the congregation, to make atonement for them before the Lord. For you did not bring its blood into the holy place. He personally should have eaten it in a holy place, as the Lord commanded me. <clears throat> then Aaron spoke to Moses, saying, If they had offered their sin offering and whole burnt offerings today before the Lord, and these things happened to me, and I had eaten the sin offering today, would it have been acceptable to the Lord? So when Moses heard that, he was pleased. Clean and unclean animals. Now the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying to them, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, There are the animals you may eat among all the animals on the earth. <clears throat> Whatever divides the hoof, having cloven hooves, and chewing the cud that you may eat. Nevertheless, these you shall not eat among those that chew the cud 
or of cloven hooves, the camel, because it chews the cud, but does not have cloven hooves, is unclean to you. The rock, the, the rock hyrax, because it chews the cud, but does not have cloven hooves, it is unclean to you. The hare, because it chews the cud, but does not have clo cloven hooves, it is unclean to you. And the swine, though it divides the hoof, having cloven hooves, yet does not chew the cud, is unclean to you. Their flesh you shall not eat, and their carcasses you shall not touch. They are unclean to you. Notes from the previous page. <clears throat> 916. Worship in the Old Covenant was not <clears throat> was to be done according to the prescribed manner. No creativity whatsoever with regard to the sacrifice was allowed. Nothing was to be done haphazardly. Quite to the quite the contrary. Creativity was prohibited and even punished. As seen in the next chapter, God, not man, set rules for worship. Communion with God was approached on his terms, not man's. Thus, a priesthood was initiated in Israel, and only those ordained were to officiate at an altar, and not just any willing and able Israelite. So, too, in the New Covenant, the worship is to be accomplished decent, decently and in order, 1 Corinthians 14.40. Priests, clergy are to be ordained to officiate at the altar, but amazingly, we live in a day where many professing we live in a day when many professing Christians claiming to be guided by the Bible spurn order, even mock it, as though it were ungodly. They even call an order of worship dead. Spontaneity and creativity are exalted as if they were truly life. However, there is no biblical basis for such worship, for this kind of worship is dead in the eyes of the true God. 9.22, Aaron blessed the people using his hand. Priests in the new covenant also bless the people with their hand using a motion in the form of a cross for they bless them in Christ's name. 923 24. The glory of the Lord appeared to all the people, and a fire came out from the Lord. Therefore, liturgical worship was not a dead worship, for the Lord's glory and fire were seen. Neither is liturgical worship in the new covenant dead. Only people are dead. If they are in sin, but if they are alive in Christ, liturgical worship as prescribed by the church fills them with the Lord's glory and fire. 10 to 1 and 2. Nadab and Abihu died because they offered strange fire before the Lord, which he had not commanded them. Offerings prescribed by the Lord are not considered by him to be worthy of death. Wherefore, it is incumbent to obey the priests who are in the church, those who, as I have shown, possess the succession of the episcopate, have received the certain gift of truth according to the good pleasure of the Father. But it's also incumbent to hold in suspicion of others who depart from the primitive succession and assemble themselves together in any place whatsoever, looking upon them either as heretics or perverse minds, or schematics puffed up by, puffed up and self-pleasing, or again as hypocrites, acting thus for the sake of lucre and vainglory. For all these have fallen from the truth, and the heretics indeed who bring strange fire to the altar of God, namely strange do doctrines, shall be burned up by the fire from heaven, as were Nadab and Abiel. <clears throat> 